everybody, it's Maxwell Carlisle. I've got a new demo review for you today. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the Rocktron Sonic Glory Overdrive pedal. Uh, it's pretty basic. It uh, sort of falls in the category of like a boost pedal, like a boost overdrive pedal, not really a distortion pedal. And uh, I've had real good experiences with some of the other Rocktron products, so we're going to check this out and see if it flies. Here's the pedal, uh, pretty basic. You got a foot switch here, level control, a tone, and the gain control over here. Battery compartment is right here on the back. Real easy. And over here, we've got a little uh, 9 volt plug for running it off a power adapter. And uh, it's got the standard uh, Rocktron casing. One thing I really like about them is it is recessed the switches or the knobs are recessed so when you step on the switch you're not stepping on your knobs okay so let's take a listen to this thing i'm plugged into my b52 at100 uh going into a 4x12 cab made by carbon and i'm playing an ibanez rg320 with stock pickups okay so let's start on the clean channel this is the clean. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
on your lead playing, the articulation of the notes, especially on the neck pickup, which can be a little muddy sometimes, it comes out a lot more clear. That's why I really, really like it. So, um... <laughs> out the good notes, kind of hides the bad notes. That's good. Okay, and one more thing. It's a pretty quiet pedal. It doesn't add any kind of annoying buzz sounds or hissing sounds or anything like that into the amp. Uh, you use it in front of the amp, you know, along with the rest of your pedals. Usually put it a little bit later in the signal chain after your, you know, whammy pedal or wah pedal or whatever you want. So that's it. That's the Rocktron Sonic Glory Overdrive pedal. Uh, it's a great, uh, great boost pedal or a low gain overdrive pedal. Check it out. 